In this video, we are discussing what is Hadoop. We know that nowadays we are having and facing a main problem that is a big data. So huge amount of data is being stored onto the cloud and 80% to 90% data have got formed in the last couple of years. So that's why the problem name is big data. Hadoop is nothing but solution to that problem. So big data is a problem and Hadoop is the solution. So let us go for further details. We are going to discuss what is Apache Hadoop. So Apache Hadoop is nothing but one open source framework and Hadoop can easily handle large amount of data on a low cost simple hardware cluster. So cluster means it is collection of multiple computers and low cost computers means here we are using the commodity nodes or commodity servers. That means the hardware cost is very low and that's why you are going to give a low cost solution and this Hadoop is actually providing the solution for the big data. And this Hadoop is scalable if you require to reduce the workload or divide the workload with multiple servers, then the workload can be divided in a horizontal scaling. So Hadoop can easily handle the large amount of data on a low cost simple hardware cluster. And Hadoop is also scalable and fault tolerant framework. Fault tolerant means if one computer goes down, if one server goes down, then another server will come into the play and from the user's point of view, they will not fail any kind of failure there. So it is having the failure transparency. The Hadoop is not only a storage system, data can be processed using this respective framework. So data will be processed, analysis can be done here. So the Hadoop system is basically written in Java language. Hadoop is open source tool from the Apache Software Foundation and as an open source project we can even change the source codes of the Hadoop system. So as it is open source also we can change the code and most of the codes are written in Java language. Most of the Hadoop codes were written by Yahoo, IBM, Cloudera, etc. So these companies have written so many codes in Hadoop open source. Hadoop provides parallel processing through different commodity hardware simultaneously. So commodity hardware means the cheap hardware with the help of which we can have the parallel processing so that data processing and analysis will be done in a very faster way. As it works on commodity hardware, so the cost is very low and the commodity hardware is low end and very cheap hardware. So the Hadoop solution is also economic and cheap. Why we should use Hadoop? So it is a very important and common question. So the Hadoop solution is very popular and it has captured at least 90% of the big data market. Hadoop has some unique features that makes it the solution very much popular. And Hadoop is scalable as we have discussed earlier to do the load sharing we can go on adding other community commodity servers. So that's why Hadoop is scalable in that case. So we can increase the number of commodity hardware easily. And it is a fault tolerance solution. Also, we have discussed this one. If one node goes down, then another node will come into the system. And when one node goes down, other nodes can process the respective data. Data can be stored as a structured, unstructured and semi-structured mode. So it is more flexible in operation. We know that in case of structured data, we can represent our data in the rows and columns. So database is a, is a good example of structured data. And the sources might be the, uh, say, we are having the web blocks, we are having the machine generated data, we are having the sensor data, so that is the source of the structured data. We are having the unstructured data, that means the data is not structured. As an example, you can consider a text file, a PDF, video, images, images sent by the respective satellites, and different machine generated data can be the unstructured data. And semi-structured data is some something like to some extent structured and to some extent unstructured. As an example, we can go for XML files, JSON files and so on. So all this type of data can be stored into the Hadoop system. So in this particular video, we have discussed what is Hadoop and what are the different features. Thanks for watching this video.